Hey guys, it's iMaster, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install a forum on your site. Now, you will not be able to use MobileMe for this, so you will have to use an external web host. Uh, I am using a free one called ByteHost, which makes it really easy. I understand that, that not everyone can use ByteHost, so there is a manual way to do this, but a lot of web hosts offer this same service that I will be using today. So I'll post the link to the manual video in the description. It is not made by me, it's made by someone else who took the time to make that video for us. So the first thing you want to do is under software and services, just look for Fantastico type installer or maybe Fantastico script installer, something like that, and go ahead and select it. Then you'll be asked to select the destination domain and click proceed. Then you want to scroll down until you find PHP BB 3.04. Uh, here it is. And we can click install. Then you want to select a destination folder. This is going to select where you want to have it installed. So it'll be something like your domain slash whatever you put here. So it'll be slash, uh, I don't know. Um, test test form okay then I can complete install sometimes this takes a while uh, so just hold on It'll t it would take a lot longer if you were doing this manually so just be thankful <laughs> okay so it's telling us it's finished installed and it's telling us the location of everything all that stuff now what I'm going to do next is go into my FTP client and let's see, I'll go to htdocs and right there it says test form right there and that is where all of our files are installed. So we can go ahead and check it out by going to your domain slash whatever you named your Form in my case, I'm asked forward slash test form, and let's see if it loads. So there we go. It's up. Everything went as as we wanted it to. So now we can start getting into the customization, setting up forums, and having fun with it. Uh, one thing I would like to point out is it gives you a set username, which is admin. The password is whatever password you use for your web host. Same with the email, whatever email you gave your web host, that's the one it's going to use. And the SQL database name used. So this one is 63188, okay? And then your username in the front. So let's go ahead and find that database. This Vista panel is kind of buggy. Uh, there it is, MySQL databases. So this is the one that we just created, and we want to be sure not to delete that one, or else we could lose our entire forum. So don't delete that, okay? It's not fun trying to set it up all over again. So then we can go ahead into our forum. We can click Login. loading there we go and we can log in with the username admin and our password which it remembers for me you can select log me on automatically each time I visit and if you want to hide my online status it also gives a nice place for guests to register and you can go ahead and log in Now, since you are the administrator of this forum, you have access to the administration control panel, which is where we really get it all set up. All right, I'll let this load for a second. That looks weird. Let's see if it fixes. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
need to re-authenticate myself, so I'll just type in my password again. Now we can proceed to the ACP or Administration Control Panel. Okay. So it gives us these two warnings up here. It says, please delete, move, or rename the install directory before you use the board. This directory is still present. Only the administration control panel will be accessible. So we're probably going to want to go ahead and do that right now. So I'll go into uh, Net2 FTP or File Manager. And right here, this is the install directory. So I'm going to rename that to install renamed. All right, then we can go back. I don't like deleting things when I'm doing this because since I use Fantasco, I don't have a copy of any of the files. So, you know, I don't like deleting things. I'm just going to go ahead and rename it. So now let's refresh this and make sure that that warning went away. Yes. Now it's giving us this. Your config file, config.php, is currently world writable. We strongly encourage you to change the permissions to 640 or at least 644. Okay, I'm going to change it to 644 because 640 um, completely blocks me out. So let's see, it said config.php right there. I'm going to go ahead and click chmod. And we're going to change it to 644. <laughs> Go back. Now let's refresh and make sure that warning goes away. Yep, so we're all good. So you could start, you know, customizing things with this. Um, you can go ahead and start setting forms, creating new forms, setting permissions. I'll have a tutorial on completely using the administration control panel very soon. So this was just to get you started. I hope it helps. And I will see you next time, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.